Hey, I'm Bill Jellin from MrExcel.com, and I've got a cool Excel tip for you today. Hey, this is Mike Chelger, and Excel is fun on YouTube, and I have a different way to do that. Excel gurus, which one shall I choose? All right, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast, my favorite day of the week. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. We'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. Mike sent in uh, this one from one of his folks today. They want to find the earliest encounter uh, between a particular customer and a particular sales rep. Now, I'm just going to go old school on this. Uh, you know, let's just come in here, go to data, and turn on the auto. Actually, you know, hey, even better than that, let's choose E-Trade and come up here and choose filter by selection and then chin filter by selection and then sort the data A to Z. There it is. Earliest is January 19th, 2008. What, what's faster than that? Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Old school. Yes, that is the way to go. So fast. Just a few clicks and not only that, you get the record. Hey, but if you were just interested in the date, you could just do a formula like this. Now, we're interested in the earliest date, so I'm going to use the min function equals min. Ah, but we have two conditions, so I'm going to use the if function. If, and we'll do customer first, control shift down arrow, and then I'm going to use my up arrow key. Whoops, <laughs> control shift down arrow and then hit the equal because we have to say, hey, what in that range is equal to? And then I'll use my up arrow key and I'll get my uh, customer. And then comma, there's two conditions, so I'll use a second if. I'll come over and get the sales rep range, control shift down arrow, equal, and then up arrow and get chin. Ah, those are the two conditions. When it's true and true, then what do we need? We need a range for the min, and that'll be this date. Control shift down arrow, and I have no quick way to jump up, so I'm going to hit the F4 key three times to jump the screen back up and get rid of all the dollar signs. Now I'm going to close parentheses once, close parentheses. I'm watching the screen tips, and finally I see I got to the min, so then I'm going to hit uh, close parentheses. And what if I just hit enter? Zero, that's not it. This is an array formula. If right here is expecting a single true or false test, we gave it an array, so we have to use Control Shift and Enter. And there we have it. Now, if we change this to, uh, say, PPS chin, then there's the earliest date. All right, there's my method. I'll throw it back to Mr. Excel. And that is beautiful. I like the formula, but pressing F4 three times to get back up to the top, what a cool, cool trick. Hey, I used Auto Filter. I want to talk about using advanced filter, so I choose, uh, well, first of all, we need to rearrange this criteria range. Control X to cut, Control V to paste. Also, notice that when Mike set this up, he uh, created a named range for that called criteria. There it is, so we'll be seeing that come up again later. All right, so we select one cell over our data set, choose advanced. I'm going to filter the list in place, and there it shows the right area, A through F. My criteria range, H2 to I3 and click OK. What that does is it shows us just the matching records and then I can click A to Z to find the earliest date. So that's one way to go. Let's clear that. Another one. Boy, I don't even know if I remember how to use this. This is an old, old, old function. One of the database functions, dmin, equal dmin. Let's see what it asks for. It asks for the database. Okay, well that's this over here. So control shift right down and a comma. Next it wants the field. Boy, I don't even remember if it asks for a number one or date. Let's put date and see if that works. And then finally the criteria range, same criteria range that we used for the advanced filter. As uh, so you said, that uh, uses Mike's named range of criteria. Kind of funny that even though I cut and paste that, the criteria is still pointing to the right area, but uh, yeah, I guess it is. All right, so let's press enter. There's our answer, right answer, wrong format. Let's do control one to format that as a date. Click OK. And 119, 2008. Let's choose another sales rep. And 16, 2008. Very cool. The old D min functions. So there you go. A lot of different ways to do it. I want to thank you for stopping by. I want to thank Mike for being a part of the Dueling Excel podcast. See you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel. And Excel is fun. Two Excel